Hello and welcome, it's Peg, and today on Art Joy Sharing, which is another YouTube channel that I share with my friend Shell C, we were doing a live show doing gel printing. And what I chose to do today was to work with things that are a little non-traditional to use on your gel plate. Um, I had out some Distress Oxides and some watercolors and color burst mediums and alcohol ink and all sorts of things that I have in my stash. And I have determined this year that I am going to use it or lose it. So I'm just getting out some of those watercolor mediums and putting it onto some iridescent uh, background paint just to do some transfers and you know this is about creating paper to do collage work with it's not it's not about a finished product other than um, creating those papers now if you go to the store and buy tissue paper you can get some beautiful tissue papers however they are mass-produced they're not your own and they're costly I have a lot of uh, deli paper and product already in my studio. So today I made it my goal to use up some of those products that are just sitting on the shelf drying out and create some uh, elements that I can use in my journal, in my collage work, um, and yeah, have some papers ready to go. Now this happens to be a water medium and uh, yeah, it's smishing around in the page. Um, you can seal those water soluble prints and you can also take them to your uh, printer and copy them off if you want multiples of them. So, you know, there are ways of getting around um, those water soluble issues that we're having. I'm using today some gel medium and some uh, pearlized iridescent medium on my gel plate, which helps to seal some of those uh, watery substances into your uh, background paper. However, it does not seal everything permanently, so you may still want to put a few coats of a spray sealant over the top of that before you start gluing things down and putting other wet medium on top. So I had uh, printed some of these little feathers. These are, uh, what I did is I die cut some feathers out of foam. And this is a Sizzix die or a, I can't remember exactly whose die it is. Uh, might've been Prima. And um, I took some of that paint off of my gel plate and used it as a um, palette for my stamping. And so I was able to transfer that onto that black text weight paper, and then I just cut them out, thinking that I'm going to use that sometime in the future <laughs> in my projects. Now, I am pulling some of that paint off of my gel plate because, yeah, it's gotten kind of thick, and it, my plates really do need cleaning. And we're just getting ready to start the show now. Um, so I decide I'm going to, um, yeah, work on something else. So now I've grabbed some iridescent, uh, not iridescent, what are these? Fluorescent <laughs> paints and some Patty Parish stencils. And um, yeah, that fluorescent really doesn't turn out all that great on that black paper, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working. I'll, you know, add layers as we go. And I'm talking to the audience, and now I'm going to add some of those liquid metal uh, watercolor things. To, you know, why not? I've got it, I might as well use it, right? So I'm getting some of that tissue paper that I want to decorate for future projects and I am picking up some of that iridescent coloration that's coming off of those metallics 
And there's that messy, messy plate. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I'm going to coat that with just some uh, Liquitex paint and try and pull some of that off because my plate really has gotten quite grungy. And, you know, the best thing to clean your gel plate with is just some uh, baby oil or mineral oil, uh, whatever you have. It will uh, loosen that and lubricate your surface of your gel plate. So you can see now I decided I want to start with a clean plate next because what I have in mind is uh, getting on with those distress inks. So you can see the first layer is pretty clean. I flip it over. I'm going to, you know, rub that down and do a little cleaning on the other side because, you know, you got two sides to the plate. <laughs> I, use, I use all of the sides of my plate, but you can see that that baby oil does a really good job of cleaning off those surfaces when things are stuck. And I do mean stuck because, you know, a lot of times I get done and I'm busy and I don't get my plate cleaned when I put it away. And yeah, that's just the facts of life. So, um, yeah, still not perfectly clean, but it's on with the show, right? So, I've got several different gel plates out. I'm going to use some as palettes but I'm grabbing some of those Distress Oxides in some bright colors. I'm in a bright color mood today. I've got the oranges and the pinks and the limey greens, and I'm gonna get a brayer and just kind of smooth those out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take a handmade uh, stamp. This is one of my, you know, just made with, uh, what do you call it? foam, fun foam, and I'm going to stamp into that gel plate and remove a little bit of that ink that I placed. And you can kind of see the image on the plate. So next I'm going to get another plate, put some of that paint down, because I want to do a pickup. So I'm going to, you can see now where the image is. Where those circles are. And I just want a light coat of paint to pick that up. And yeah, it's a real faint image. It is there, but uh, very much into the background. And uh, so now I'm going to use another one of my stamps and, you know, move some of that paint from one place to the other. Do another pickup and just keep moving on because that's what you do when you're gel printing. You just keep layering and layering and layering. So I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you come and join us on Art Joya Sharing Facebook group uh, because there are a lot of people who are posting their art in there and we have monthly challenges and uh, we do this weekly live show and if you're interested in the live show be sure and check out art joy sharing uh youtube and click the bell for notifications so that you know every time we go live you'll get notified that we will be doing a live show and um yeah i'm, I'm using several different things an iridescent medium a gloss medium paints uh watercolor the stress oxide. I even get out my alcohol ink at some point and uh, keep playing. So I got this uh, Carabella Studio stamp, and I, I think it's a really cool stamp. And it's meant to use on the gel plate, you know, because it's like a texture thing. It does, it's not a mounted stamp. And then I'm going to add some of those uh, watercolor powders. They're called Color Burst Powders. And spritz that with some water. It's kind of soppy. And I'm going to pull that up. And that's going to make a really pretty tissue paper, too.
So, was that fun to watch? Uh, I just keep layering things. That iridescent medium, it's really giving a nice shimmer to things. And uh, because I want to create a lot of those tissue papers to use in future projects, I thought that would be really some gorgeous um, paper to use. Now, remember, if you're going to use that tissue paper in a project that you do not want to use a matte medium over the top of it because you're going to kill all of that iridescence. So, um, yeah, just be mindful of that. You know, if you're using a glue stick or something underneath, you're not going to have that problem, and that's kind of where I'm headed with it. So uh, just be aware of that when you go to use those papers. And then also remember to spray it with some kind of sealant. Um, you know, not a matte sealant, but maybe a gloss sealant or, you know, a workable fixative or something that uh, is going to allow you to continue to work on that surface because there will still be some movement because there are water soluble mediums that are being used here. I hope you're enjoying this. Um, I had a lot of fun playing around with Shell today. And uh, it's always fun to have people in the live audience that we can chat with. And uh, occasionally I have other people wander through the room. So um, anyway, 
If you're interested, come and join us. That's Art Joya Sharing each Thursday, 1030 Central Standard Time. And we kind of switch it up each week. I think next week is going to be something to do with hearts. We'll see. Uh, you know, we could change our mind, but I think it's set for next week. But, uh, yeah. Shell and I will be doing our live show. And we look forward to seeing anybody who wants to join in, uh, wants to post their pictures, wants to use our hashtags, wants to support our channels and what we're doing in the art community. Uh, you know, we really appreciate the support that you give us. And so I'm just going to, you know, briefly show you guys what I've been working on here today. And thank you for stopping by and uh, I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.